Jeremy. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My people. They're here. Yes, I know, Tim, right? You're surrounded by your peeps. I know. It's I like, saw them coming up. I was like, oh, my people are here. I know. And One of these things does not belong here. Do you see this whole setup? <laughs> it's right, it's right there. Yeah. What are you trying to say? I don't belong here? No. You're you're just great. So, Jeremy, now yeah. tell us a little bit about House of Horrors and, and how it all got started. Honestly, it got started back in 2005 in a garage haunt in Olathe. And in 2014, we, we went to Gardner and started it up again bigger and better and we're growing like wildfire yeah yeah I, I feel like there's more clowns here today is that not true no? um no it's the same amount of clowns that have attacked you in every parade awesome. i promise <laughs> yes i feel the love thank you all there so are much. a lot of scary clowns in this this whole thing i know right well, they should they should start a circus that's right well, jeremy how do you go from a halloween display in your house to like a full-blown haunted attraction like how take us through the evolution of that it I started in 2005. My brother here jumped in with me in 2010, and it, honestly, it, it became its own monster. We we didn't expect it. We started getting a lot of attention. Um, we had some good friends uh, at Third Street Asylum. They jumped in it and got a hold of us, and they pushed us. They pushed us to go big, and we haven't stopped yet. Well, yeah, yeah. speaking of big, how big is the attraction, and, and how many people do you draw every year? We draw a couple thousand. Um, we're we're expecting this year we actually just were voted the number one must-see haunted house in the state of kansas wow. um on a na nationwide poll um so i think that's going to bring in a lot of extra attention and, and is there like some type of poll that's out there i mean how did you get yeah, voted it, number one is there it, like a it's a uh, voting process it's or? a website called the scarefactor.com and they do it nationwide and it's all based it's all voted on by the fans and awesome. we got voted number one Wow. Good for you guys. That's so. really good. Yeah. yeah why, why do you think uh, they, they voted you guys number one? Honestly, we have some of the most loyal, die-hard fans. It's ridiculous. Um, we have people that follow us to any event that we do. Um, That's we awesome. put it out on our website, put it out on Facebook, and these people show up. People show up to parades, whether it's Old Settlers, Gardner, and they come just to see us. It's yeah. crazy. Well, how much time do you spend preparing for this every year? I mean, I, I feel like I feel like you got a lot of. I think, oh I think it's like a yearly probably Have thing. You seen huh? behind yeah. you, it, Tim. Oh it, my I gosh, know. Don't I know. It, it's it's nonstop. Uh, honestly, ninety-five percent of the haunt is built by us. Is just it? the two of us. Uh, so some of my crew back here are electricians. Um, they've helped that way. Guys come come out and paint. But 90, 95% is just me and him being stupid. That's cool. So I've always wondered, because obviously I've never been into a haunted house. You should. Never. No. You should. Don't look at me. No. I. This is not. I'm way outside. Artist. Yeah. No. Can you touch people, like, when they're going through the haunted house? Are you Are you allowed to, like, scare them? Don't laugh. I don't she's know. asking you guys not to touch her is basically what, what she's I'm saying. saying. <laughs> I am the common person here that doesn't like what I'm surrounded by right now. And so no. We yeah. are not allowed to touch people. You don't touch us, we don't touch you. So they don't come up and like yeah. go, in your face, clown man. Well, and, and, like, and, yeah. and, and we got thick skin right. yeah. and big hair. If they so. want to exchange numbers, they can do that afterwards. Right. So you know? there right. you go. How do you find people to work on your attraction? Just your raving fans? Do they seek you out? No. Friend? Every one of these people are my best friends. Oh, um, that's my, so nice. Uh, oh, wherever the doll is, this is my daughter. Oh, my gosh. Um, my wife lovely. works in yes. it. My mom, my dad. And all, these are all my friends, my brothers. This is your, your tribe. This you is, all look like family. This yeah. is my crew. <laughs> I love that. I mean, hey. Yeah. You know. Well, tell me some of the challenges you've had to overcome along the way. I mean, this is a business, right? Yes, I mean, it is. So. Um, we, a lot of our issue is um, sometimes zoning, permits, stuff like that. Sure. Which we're getting through it. Yeah. Getting through it. Has the city ever given you any troubles? Have you, are you in good relations with the, the city of Gardner? <laughs> it's not the city. We're actually outside city limits, are you? so it's the county. Oh, there you um, go. Oh, yeah. That's always fun. It, it's, it's been an interesting journey for four years with the county. Let's yeah. just say it that way. So when are you open this season, 2018? October 19th. October 19th? That's oh, our wow. first night. We're going to do the two weekends before Halloween, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Ooh. and then we'll do Halloween night. All right, Halloween and night. And tell us where we find you. Uh, Gardner, Kansas. The address 35753 West 146th Street. Okay. 
Is it like a house? Is that like a it, it's building? Actually, is, to I mean, be honest with you, it's a it's a barn on my private property. Oh like man, I said, that's we even started, scarier. We started in a in a one car garage in Olathe. We expanded to the barn, and we're actually in the process of trying to buy a building to come back to Olathe. That's awesome. That's a haunted barn full of scary clowns. I know, right? It sounds like your place. My dream come true. I know. So what's your website? It's Toynbee's House of Horrors. Okay. Well, well, you know, um, other attractions have gone under recently, yeah. right? I mean, let's be honest. This yes. is right. So, how does that affect you? I would think that um, helps grow your business more. Or? Th the other haunted house, they they just now um, had to bow out uh, because of their building. They're pushing them our way, and like I said, the, the guys great. up there, they're awesome guys. They're great friends of ours, and they're they're pushing the business our way. We are. Outside of downtown, we're the only haunt yeah. in the Kansas City area. I don't think there's a lot of people that can say they're friends with people from the asylum. I heard it, you say that earlier. Is that they right? are. They're, they're, yeah. they're brothers and friends. They're, right? they're good guys. Yeah, very good. That's awesome that you guys can actually support each other yeah. and, and not 100%. be, you know, fighting against each other right. for business or whatever. Right, right, right. You know, it's that's all great. family. You know. Like I said, they reached out to oh. us. They pushed us to, to go big and go ho or go home. So we went big. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what would be the like least busy night for people that want to come out maybe and probably uh, Sunday night. Sunday night. I can't really say probably Monday, Monday morning. We, we, we don't do Monday. It's Friday, Sunday Saturday, morning. Sunday, Friday, Saturday, when Sunday, you're and Wednesday, and probably Sunday nights. We do shorter hours, seven to ten. Every other night, seven to eleven. There you go. It's lovely. Well, it's just been lovely meeting all of you. You're oh, yeah. just you don't know how much we it, so it means to us to be yeah. with you. Yeah. Hey, would you give Christy a kiss? Uh, yeah, that would be lovely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No. Sam. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's creepy. I love it. Oh. I love it.